Alright, welcome to a uh, quick episode of uh, the Esoteric Beat. Many people ask me if I know the secret, and I'm happy to tell them. Beats me. Uh, so today I'd like to talk about a cool paper by uh, Yossi uh, Chajes, Chayes, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. And uh, it is about uh, the Tree of Life diagrams um, in, uh, in Gershom Sholem. So it's uh, the Kabbalistic Trees of Gershom Sholem. And if you're interested in um, the, uh, the Ilanot, as they're, as they're called in Hebrew, um, which is a, a, a metonym for the, uh, the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, which represents a sort of uh, divine emanation, a kind of a, a Gnostic or Neoplatonist uh, comparable uh, uh, theology and, and metaphysics and, and cosmology and everything. Um, so, you know, I'll put up on the screen, here is uh, the, the Great Parchment, right, which is uh, uh, one of those manuscripts where we see just uh, some remarkable uh, creativity in the production of a Tree of Life diagram uh, manuscript. Um, and uh, the, the funny thing is that Gershom Sholem, who is one of the uh, deans of uh, Kabbalah studies, in the 20th century and made you know so many important contributions and sort of shaped the field uh, he wasn't really particularly interested in the the diagrams of the sphere wrote and uh, you know said at one point oh i just didn't get much out of it you know kind of for understanding the uh the zoharic tradition and um so uh I'll show you a couple of the uh the pages where we get to see you know some of these cool uh, uh diagrams from these medieval manuscripts now when i was in um uh, graduate school uh, I would I would have loved to, to you know learn about these, but uh, not much uh, had really been done. Uh, not much uh, work had really been done on these things, uh, and uh, you know it turns out um, they're they're actually kind of more important than uh, than Sholem's uh, uh, Sholem's kind of ignoring the tradition uh, might have revealed. You know we see kind of a bunch of different uh, different configurations, right, uh, of the uh, of the sphere wrote. Um, so. There's all it's it's a it's a form of creativity in uh, in Jewish mysticism and Kabbalah uh, that uh, that hasn't received enough study um, until recently. So uh, I uh, I marked up this page and uh, I'm gonna just uh, read a couple of uh, you know quotations. All right. So the Illa note literally trees, but use metonymically in Hebrew. It's a good ten dollar word metonym, right? Uh, to refer to diagrammatic uh, cosmological. Um, parchments uh, but um, you know once uh, people started really getting interested in these it was you know it was a, a great surprise that uh, they hadn't really been studied um, uh, to be more precise these illinotes are iconotexts hybrid integrations of texts and images um, so we learn a little bit about uh, uh, the uh, researches of Giulio Busi um, who's a uh, very important uh, in my work because he's uh, working on Pico della Miranda as a Kabbalistic library. And, uh, you know, what Boosie discovered is, um, you know, it was something of a shock. It was a breakthrough moment for him when he realized that the Kabbalah is not only a theory, but at least as far as manuscripts are concerned, also a, a visual um, experience. And uh, uh, Boosie uh, reflected that uh, it was, quote, Sholem's rootedness in a scholarly tradition of philology and German idealism that explained his uh, exclusive interest in text and his uh, dismissive attitude towards images so that's a uh, you know quick glimpse of this cool paper and if you go to uh, dr uh, dr jeffrey or yossi's um uh, site on academia.edu j h uh, cha has cha is uh, c h a j e s uh, on his academia page uh, there's all kinds of uh, great research on the tree of life the sphere wrote in their uh, their visual uh, forms in these manuscripts. Um, thanks for coming to my little talk and uh, be curious. <laughs>